WIFO FM Jessup, Big Dog Country Radio. The time now is 8.02. It is now time for the world famous Butch and Bob show here on WIFO, brought to you by Connection Coffee and Creamery, Murphy Builder Supply, Oak Wynn and Associates, Vans Barbecue, and First Southern Bank. Nothing brings people together quite like a great cup of coffee. At the Connection Coffee and Creamery, you will find a place where conversations begin and friendship never ends. Whether you're looking for a space to connect or a caffeine pick-me-up on your way to work, we've got just what you're looking for. From delicious handcrafted beverages to rich creamy ice cream or a filling breakfast and lunch items, we've got you covered. Short on time? Order through our Joe app or give us a call and we will have your items ready for pickup in our drive-thru. We are open Monday through Friday, 6.30 to 5 and Saturdays, 8 to 2. We are located at 254 West Cherry Street. We look forward to connecting with you. Since 1946, Murphy's Builder Supply has been serving the folks of Jessup, Wayne, and surrounding counties with quality products and knowledgeable service. Matter of fact, they feel they sell service first to make sure you get exactly what you need for your home improvement projects. And with each employee at Murphy's being there for 10 years or more, you know you're talking with someone with the experience to help you with building supplies, tools, paint, and all the things you need from a full-service hardware store. The best choice in home improvement is Murphy's Builder Supply, 156 Northeast Broad Street, Jessup. Are you looking for an insurance company that you can call and talk to a live person? Are you looking for an insurance company where you can walk in and talk to an agent? Are you looking for an insurance company that offers multiple companies so they can try and get you the best rate? If you said yes to any of these, then you need to call or come by Oakwin and Associates Insurance Financial Services. We offer multiple companies so we can find the best fit for you. Give us a call at 385-1000 or stop by our office at 212 South Fair Street right here in Jessup. When it comes to barbecue, Vans Barbecue and Jessup is the place to be. A small family-owned business located at 1876 on the Savannah Highway. Vans Barbecue has lunch and dinner specials. Stop by or call to make an order. The number to call 427-3358. Vans Barbecue's new manager is Sarah Van. Vans Barbecue offers potato salad, coleslaw, baked beans, and don't forget their delicious mac and cheese. Also, check out their shrimp plates, the best in town. Yes, when it comes to the barbecue, head to Vans Barbecue, locally owned and operated. Stop by and tell them the big dog sent you. Once again, the number to order, 427-3358. Hi, I'm Raymond Brown. And I'm Mandy Yeomans. At First Southern Bank, our customers are like family. As a locally owned community bank, we're dedicated to helping our clients succeed. We have loans for every need, whether it's personal or business. We have lines of credit, auto loans, equipment loans, and of course, we offer mortgages. Stop by our bank or call us at 912-588-1010 and see how First Southern Bank can help you. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. The following is an exclusive presentation of Jessup Broadcasting, the sports leader in Southeast Georgia. Butch and Bob Show. World famous Butch and Bob Show here on WIFO 105.5 FM and Jessup Big Dog Country Radio. And Bob, how's it going? It's going well. Man, what a whipping Wayne County Yellow Jack girls softball team put on the islands yesterday. Good made man. that four innings, made it good. We got to go home early, didn't we, Bob? <laughs> That's right. Really like that, but all kinds of, of sports stuff going on. We'll get to that a little later on. But we got two sets of guests this morning. We got the Odom Day people in here. And then we got Kylie from Hospice. Talk about that events they got coming up there with Hospice. And we got Robin Manners in here this morning. She's been on the show many times through the years. Yes. Well, let me cut your mic on. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And introduce your guest here. Okay. Our guest is our new Odom City clerk, um, Sierra Bryant. She's been with us since July, and she is learning fast. Learning She's fast, coming huh? along. <laughs> she is. She well, is. Well, uh, Sierra, welcome to the world famous Butch and Bob Show. Thank Hopefully you. Hopefully, this will be the first of many that y'all you know will be on the show through the years promoting the activities in Odom. All right. Now, of course, everyone knows coming up soon is going to be uh, Odom Day. Tell us all about it, Robin. I know you got something going on this weekend, and then Odom Day. So, what's going on this That's weekend? That's right. Um, this coming Saturday um, at seven p.m. at our depot, we're going to have a dance. Um, our feature band this year will be. Um, 
Well, just for Bluff. God. Bluff five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's I, early, I Bob. Like it's I early, guess. bitch. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's early. Yeah. But um, it will be held there um, at the depot. You bring you, you can bring your lawn chairs. We will have some tables and chairs set up, um, you know, for people. We will have a couple of... Um, places there that you can get a plate of food tender pig will be on the square they will have sandwiches chips and drinks for ten dollars um i think they're going to have barbecue sandwiches pork chop sandwiches and those sausage dogs that everybody so loves tender pig's going to be there tender with some pigs will, food for to, uh, yes, saturday night they will be there and then of course chicken shack is chicken right shack there at right the square yep. and they will be there with their fried chicken they'll have um home dipped ice cream slushy snow cones they'll be serving their full menu so we'll have tables and chairs so you'll have a place to sit and eat and talk and just relax and then we'll have our have our square there for you to dance so bring your dancing shoes and come on out bring your whole family it's a family-friendly environment kids love it they get out and dance on the dance floor too and um just have a good time and what time will that dance start this saturday it, night it starts at 7 p.m 7 p.m there at the square in Odom this the saturday square. night the 30th mm-hmm. and the name of the band once again is is bluff five and i'll i'll tell you a little bit about them they were formed in january of 2015 in Candom county um they're a so they have a southern sound created to provide live entertainment um with emphasis on covering a variety of music spanning from spanning 70 seven decades so 70 years of music and all kind of genres um they performed at many events festivals weddings charities private events um and then if it rains that day um we will move to the gym you know we we live in south georgia and these showers pop up That's so right. so around luckily lunchtime y'all got that gym now to be able to move out yes, if you need to yes around lunchtime if you see it looks like it's going to rain that afternoon we will move everything to the gym um, which is the odom city gym right across from the um odom elementary school on north church street okay so um but just come on and let's have a good time and enjoy you know enjoy the atmosphere and have a good family friend and and kind of get reacquainted with each other we have a lot of us are so busy and we don't see each other but this once or twice a year so um, we want y'all to come out and enjoy it and have a good time okay that's this saturday night dancing on the square starting at 7 p.m mm-hmm. in odom and uh, they'll have the activities this saturday with that dance now the following week is when you got a lot of stuff going on for odom day week right yes yes the following week um it starts wednesday night and we'll have a reception this year we have a citizen of the year who is shelby anderson um she's over the boys and girls club so um anyway we'll be honoring her the program marshal will be becky scott she's um the school's teacher of the year odom elementary's teacher of the year this year she's an odom girl too grew up right outside of odom um and the outstanding teen is madison cerncy um and so come out congratulate them um join us for some food and and just talking and and just visiting each other and congratulate them um and that's on, wednesday night next week there's okay. wednesday night at seven p.m at the rec center okay there in odom and um it's kind of a drop by you don't have to stay all night you can drop by tell them hello congratulate them grab you a plate and stay as long as you want to but you know you don't there's no set time for it 7 to 9 p.m okay okay and then on saturday morning our events um we start with our parade at 10 o'clock platform ceremonies at 11 then our entertainment uh, we have our cake walk and everybody loves our cake walk we do we give away 40 cakes we Four, give away many? 40 Four zero, 40. 40. wow that's a lot we of cakes we give away 20 in the um in the children's 12 and under and then we do our senior citizens 55 and older and we give away 20 in that division too so wow. um then we have our entertainment will start um, right after that, around 11.45, called to the dance floor, we'll be performing. Um, then Corky's will be with us at 1. Gina's Gyms will be there at 2. Wayne Academy. 
from uh, round three and then keeping it live we'll be there at four to five to kind of close the events down they're a local band um from odom i think um all of them live in odom except mr glenn corson he lives here in jezebel he's part of that band as well and they will be there and um, they play they play some gospel some country um so and what's the name of that band that lives in um keeping it live keeping it live keeping it live all right so um and then we'll close that night um 6 30 p.m on the square as well and if like i said if it rains that night we'll move the church service that'll be our church service we do a community church service every year all the churches participate this year our speaker is from the new pastor from piney grove his name is justin click and um i have not personally heard him yet but i have heard a lot of good things about him so um, i'm looking forward to hearing him um bring the word to us so all that going on next week uh, we start this saturday on. night with the the dancing on the square at seven o'clock this saturday night the 30th and then those activities next week uh, on wednesday and then the big odom day on on saturday mm-hmm. as we're, we're all accustomed to yes and we have our we have our kids on um we have our t-shirts on sale now at city hall you can pick one up there they're 15 dollars and they feature a one of the older homes in Oda Missoula Aspinwall's house. Um, it features that on the back, and our theme this year is Coming Home. So um, those are on sale now. You can go ahead and get your kids' bracelets if you know you're going to be there. You don't want to stand in that line at 11 o'clock on Saturday. You can go ahead and pick up your kids' bra- bracelets. And we have different age groups um, for that, but you can pick those up at City Hall. We will have the t-shirts and the wristbands um at the dance for sale as well so you mm-hmm. can pick them up there if you want to right and then they'll be on sale that morning saturday morning at the t-shirt booth if you want to avoid the line at 11 o'clock so yeah, those kids really lo- enjoy that kids zone. they do they do can play all day for one price you don't get that in a lot of places yeah. so um and you have food booths set up all over the place that people will come in so make sure you bring your appetite to odom day on september yes. on, on, on october 7th yes and arts and crafts we have a, a, bunch a variety of arts, of arts and crafts we do f- still have a few booths available if you're still interested if you just haven't been sure and kind of wait until the end we do have a few booths is available you can call miss sherry dowling her number is 912-294-6825 and um, she'll fit you in she'll tell you you know if she's already got 40 barbecues she'll tell you she's got 40 Mm -hmm. and you know kind of she coordinates all that we try to stay out all that she handles it very well who handles that um miss sherry dowling sherry dowling she's she's been doing it now about 20 years i think so um so if you want to get a hold of her just call odom city hall and they'll get you in contact with her mm-hmm. okay all right and then uh, of course you got all the entertainment going on and one of the things i really enjoy is through the years is going inside the uh, the train museum there mm-hmm. the, tra- the, the depot museum depot. Mm-hmm. and uh looking at the history of the depot the trains odom mm-hmm. all that's in there just uh, very well done yes thank you very much we're we're very proud of our depot yeah and i uh, try to keep it up and so Man, a lot going on. Odom lot Day. Going on. Yep. I got the dance this Saturday night at seven o'clock on the square there in Odom. And then Wednesday night the you know ceremonies there at the rec department and then Odom Day on the seventh of October. And uh, in with us right now is also is um is the new Odom City Clerk, Sierra Bryant. Good morning. Good morning. Well, what do you want to talk about this morning? The contest. Um oh so we have um also a contest that we have going on. Um we have the Scarecrow Contest, um, and I think that's for all the citizens that's in Oldham, that they can decorate, you know, scarecrows, and we go out and judge them. So if you're in Oldham, you make a scarecrow, call City Hall and say, I want to be judged to win a prize, I guess? Yeah, they win a prize. So okay. the right. due date to turn those forms in is um, actually Friday. This Friday. This tomorrow. Friday. Okay. Tomorrow. All right. Correct. And then we also have a pumpkin um, contest for the school age kids um for them to decorate you know their pumpkins and turn them into the city hall and that deadline is where's that deadline um that deadline is next friday next at friday four, the 29th at okay. four o'clock for another mm-hmm. competition there in mm-hmm. Odom. all right oh. 
and I, there's two age groups in that. Um, we have five to five to seven, and then eight to ten um, for those age groups, and they do win a monetary prize. They win um, the winners in each division. Um, first place is twenty five, second place is fifteen, and third place is ten. Okay. And um, so you know, get your kids to, and you would not believe some of the pumpkins we have seen over the last <laughs> years. They are creative also creative kids. They are creative, and they are also on display at Odom Day. Mm-hmm. Um, so, all right. Anything I, else, Sierra? Yes, I'm gonna make a correction to that. The pumpkin contest is due Friday, October the fifth. Okay. Oh uh, yes. By four by Thank four you. o'clock. The pumpkin, by four o'clock yeah. to City Hall. Scarecrows yeah. is by tomorrow mm-hmm. and the pumpkin by yeah. Friday. Two competitions going on Odom for, for the Odom festivities going on. So mm-hmm. you know, just call City Hall if you have any questions about it and they can get to uh, tell you all about it. Yes. yes. All right. And, uh, and uh, Sierra, you're the new uh, Odom City Clerk there. Uh, who works with you down there at your office? Um, so my assistant city clerk, utility clerk, is Jan O'Quinn. Jan O'Quinn. Jan O'Quinn. Okay. And I can't forget, and I won't, I got to mention Ms. Robin Maynard. She is actually my trainer. Um, she <laughs> and is, she's a very good trainer, she, too. She, she is. She is excellent. She is teaching me everything that I Talk need to know. Um, so... I'm, I appreciate her for that. So, the folks there in Odom, welcome you with open arms down there, being yes. the new city clerk. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. That's great. Great. Mm-hmm. All right. All that going on in Odom. Bob, question comments for our folks from Odom this morning. Anything? Just looking forward to it. And I, I didn't know if you got to go to the forum yesterday, Rob, but your mayor bragged on you. Oh, about uh, all. I did get to go. We yeah. had a Kate meeting yesterday too. So, me and Miss Jan were kind of getting yeah. that organized well, you, you and ready. About how valuable you've been. Well, all these thank years you. Odom. I appreciate that. I I love Odom. I grew up there. You know, my mom and dad built that house when in '62, and I've been there all my life except five years. I traveled with my husband in the army. And uh, we lived in New York and in Nashville, Tennessee. But um, Odom is home, always has been, and I love it. And I just want to see it succeed and blossom and go on. We're growing, and, uh, you know, so, and I appreciate everybody there. They, you know, they, uh, they're they great to work with, and we've been very blessed with employees and stuff throughout the years. So. Okay. All right, sounds good. Well, Robin, Sierra, y'all have a good day and a successful Odom activities beginning this Saturday all the way through next week. Thank you. All right, we got a a guest still in the green room. We'll be on the air in just a few moments, but let me go ahead and read this right here. Another birthday came in. It says, good morning, uh, Big Dog Country. Please, let me see if I can find where it is here. Please wish uh, Chief Perry Morgan a very happy birthday with lots of love from Vicki, Sky, Trent, Malik. Enjoy your day. Okay, and uh, let's see. And the parade application, somebody wants to know how to get a parade application for the Odom Parade. Uh, Robin, I guess they just call City Hall? Yes. Just call City Hall. Call Odom City Hall. 586-2211. 586-2211. All right, Bob, if you go get our other guest, and then we'll continue on with the world-famous Butch and Bob show right here on WIFO 105.5 FM in Jessup. South Georgia weather. Weather. Here's your WIFO forecast. Mostly cloudy in the morning, a 20% chance of showers, then becoming more partly sunny. Northeast breeze gusting to 20, highs in the upper 70s. Mostly cloudy this evening, becoming partly cloudy, low 60s. Partly sunny, mid 80s for tomorrow. Saturday, sunshine highs, mid 80s. Sunday, sunshine, low 80s. Monday, sunshine highs in the low 80s. Georgia Chief Meteorologist John Weatherby in the GNN Weather Center. When further treatment is no longer an option, hospice can provide services to manage symptoms and difficulties caused by illness. Emotional, psychosocial, and spiritual care, as well as support to the families and caregivers, are all part of hospice care. Hospice of South Georgia has been a part of the health community in Wayne and surrounding counties since 1998. The professional yet compassionate attention provided by our staff is unsurpassed. Widely supported by donations from the local population, Hospice of South Georgia is the local nonprofit hospice in Wayne County. Our administrative office is located at 1625 Sunset Boulevard and Hospice of South Georgia accepts anyone who meets hospice criteria regardless of their ability to pay. Please call 912-588-0080 to speak with someone about hospice care. That was 912-588-0080. We are your hometown hospice and we are here to serve you. 
Hospice of South Georgia, working to add life to your days. 105.5 FM and Jess, a big dog country, WIFO. We continue on with the world-famous Butch and Bob show here on WIFO. We got Kylie McGrayer in here from Hospice. Good morning, Kylie. Good morning. How yeah. are you? I'm doing fantastic. Fantastic. All right. <laughs> so I know that y'all got a you know, big event coming up uh, for a hospice fundraiser. Tell us about what's going on, yeah. what you'd like to talk about. Well, thanks for having me and Kaylee in. I got my partner in crime, Kaylee Jones. Good morning. Good yeah, morning, Kaylee. How you doing? A happy right. pre-Friday. That's what happy I like Happy pre-Friday? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're getting dangerously close to the weekend, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's good to be back on the Butch and Bob show, and we wanted to come on today to get everybody excited about Autumn Hall River Jam. Um, it's coming up, and it'll be here before you know it. It's our country music benefit concert that's going to be on Saturday, November 18th at the J.C. Fairgrounds. Uh, this night's going to feature live per- performances by Lance Stinson, Mackenzie Carpenter, Dylan Carmichael, and headliner Cameron Marlowe. And we're also going to have a wide variety of food trucks. Um, here are just a few that we have. We have, a, we have to confirm a few more, but these are the ones that have confirmed. The um, Emma's Willie Good Food, Keller Wood Fire Pizza, Rolling Cafe, Something to Talk About, uh, Johnny Boy's Cookies, and Segura Takira. I hope I say that right. I'm just not good at t- pronouncing that one. And Sugar Girl Sweets. And we do have a few more. And we're also going to have other style of vendors, so not just food vendors, but clothing vendors, art vendors. And we have Cotton Comfort Company Apparel and the Juicy Flamingo so far. We have a few more to um, confirm on that one, too. And we're going to have artist merch boots. We're going to have cash bar. Um, we're going to have cornhole. And we also want to mount, announce that we are going to open our gates early. So we're opening our gates at 3 p.m. And we're going to live stream the Georgia-Tennessee game. We have big screen set up there for folks to be able to watch that while they're enjoying all those activities yeah. before the concert begins. Yes. Oh, it'll be fun out there in the sun. I know. And our food trucks are going to be up and running. Our cash bar is going to be up and running. And we are, like I said earlier, we're going to set up a few cornhole bowl boards. So it's going to be a fun day of Georgia football and country music. And you just can't beat that. And general mission tickets are only $25. So for $25, you can come stream the game. You get to come eat a lot of food and, you know, enjoy four music acts. So you just can't beat that no, price. Four music acts. You know, know. For that, you ought to be charging 50 just for that. <laughs> uh, counting to see the big screens of a t- Georgia-Tennessee game and have access to the food trucks. You know? I know. Full day of fun and football and country music. And you can purchase your tickets right now at W www.automahallriverjam.com and we also offer vip a vip that comes with a keepsake lanyard a vip lounge area vip viewing area upgraded restrooms and that's going to be a hundred bucks and all the proceeds from autumn hall river jam we're going to go in support of hospice of south georgia a 501 c3 non profit organization and and we serve 13 counties with free hospice care applin bacon brantley jeff davis liberty long pierce tatnall and of course wayne county as well as portions of coffee glen mcintosh and ware county so we we're everywhere right um and we want to give a huge shout out to guess what my sponsors who i absolutely love and i'm grateful for their support for this big event We have our Food Alley sponsor, Edward Jones, Agent Michael Evans, Gold sponsor, Ryan, Interstate Credit Union, Bless Dollander, Country Financial, and Prime South Bank. And we have our Silver Lighthouse Liquidators. We have Bronze, State Farm, David Earl Keith, Ag South, Lee's Hardwood Store in Waycross. Jose Warbay Functional Fitness and Coaching. So thank you all so much. And we're also still accepting sponsorships. So please give me a shout if you want to promote your business to over 4,000 country music fans all at once. All over the radio like Big Dog Country, Kix96, and WTOC Savannah. And you can reach me at 912-588-0080 with any questions that you have for Autumn River Jam. Autumn River Jam, yeah. November 18th, right? Yes, and we do want to make a quick announcement to anybody listening right now. Uh, be sure to listen tomorrow because Mr. Butch is going to give away some passes, some general mission passes to Autumn River Jam. I don't know what time. I'm going to let him roll with it, but just wanted to let you all know to uh, stay tuned. Okay. Yeah. 
And now I'm going to turn it over to Miss Kaylee. She's going to talk about. All right, Kaylee, what's going on? I'm going to keep this short and sweet because I know we're about out of time. But coming up in October, we have our Alzheimer's support group. It's on October 5th from 5 to 6 p.m. and October 19th from 5 to 6 p.m. This group will meet at our office, which is located at 1625 Sunset Boulevard. It's right next to Bone & Joint. If you have any questions about our support groups, please give us a call at 912-588-0080. And this is opened up to everybody in the community, so you don't have to have somebody that or a loved one own hospice services. We will support you any way we can. Okay. All right. Well, sounds good. Yeah. Don't Man, forget. Just, yeah. just exciting stuff going on. Yeah. <laughs> don't forget. Exciting. November 18th, Autumn Hall River Jam, J.C. Fairgrounds. Gates open at 3. three. Yeah, to get your, start in the grill. They start playing the country music at what time? Well, or rock de- music, whatever we're, we're they just kind of depending on the game. How so the game's going. If, okay. if the game is running over, we will have the game going as the music is going too, so you can just multitask and watch so, football and listen to country music. Yeah, yeah so it's uh, supposed to start about seven, isn't it? Probably. Yeah, so yeah, we're there. looking forward to it's it. Be we've a great had a, time. Yeah, we've yeah. had a huge response. Jamming there at the river. Yeah. Georgia, Celebrating yeah, Autumn Georgia, Hall River. Tennessee football, food booths, uh, uh, other booths set up for people to be able to get, and, and trucks and so forth. And, of course, four uh, four of bands out there playing. Yeah. Four, art, four different artists with their bands. I know. You can't beat that, right? Can't beat that with a stick of 25 the, bucks. Celebrating <laughs> Autumn Hall River. So what we're, Bob, question, comments, or anything for Kylie? I just want to make sure you've told these country music people they can't be singing Rocky Talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass the note. I do know that Lance is You'll really be escorted from the facilities out there if you start singing right now. I know that Lance is really excited to come sing his uh, song Autumn Hall right yeah, there that, at the Autumn Hall. Dog, so we're yeah, really, really Autumn excited Hall about that. Song that was real good. Yeah. yeah, and still real good. Yeah. All right. Well, you ladies take care. When will we see y'all again? Uh, whenever we get invited oh, back. Well, you know you're always invited, <laughs> so you don't have to say that. It's always invited. Just set it up, and we'll get you back on again to talk about the upcoming River Jam and yeah. other activities going on in Hospice of South Georgia. Yeah, because 2024 is going to be even busier for us. We're adding three new events next year. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. All right, y'all take care. Bob, right. anything else? Nope, that's it. All right. All right, we all have a good day. All right, World Famous Butch and Bob Show here on WIFO 105.5 FM and Jessup. It has been brought to you by Connection Coffee and Creamery, by Murphy Builder Supply, O'Quinn and Associates, Vans Barbecue, and First Southern Bank.